recognise this board. Looking a bit different on this side. And all I've started doing is putting some paste on. Coat up the whole board. Nothing, I don't want anything on the skirting board. But what I will do is, I'll just run some up that edge and just leave a bit on the surface there. And I'll get this to dry off. Try and just smooth it off a little bit. But generally, whether it's paste the wall, paper, or paper that you're going to paste on the bench, there'll still be a certain amount of paste on the wall. skirting board, like I say, I don't want anything on there. Now I'm just going to leave this to dry. Um, if you're stripping a wall, um, taking the paper off and painting the wall afterwards, then you really should remove the paste by washing it off. Alternatively, if you paper in a wall and you get paste onto the woodwork, wipe it off when you finish papering. Don't leave it on. This is completely dry now. What I've done is I've split it and one half now I'm going to wash and clean off. The other half I'll leave. This piece of skirting board, I wiped it off and I will keep it clean. This piece of architrave has got paste all the way up the edge and on the surface here, where it's all dried back. It's not visible now at this stage. So all I've got is my stumpy flat brush and some warm soapy water. And generally this is how I would do it. If I was stripping a wall, then as you're stripping going along, because the wall will be slightly damp behind, and the paper will, any bits of paper will be slightly damp, then by using this stumpy flat, it's like a scrubbing brush. And when you're washing off any deviations in the wall, you'll be able to get any bits of paper out, um, any paste out. So, if you're painting the wall, then when you come to fill, all your filler won't be contaminated with the paste that's left on the wall. So generally, you would just wet it all in first. Because what this will do now is just reactivate the paste. Because paste is meant to be reversible. So you can get your paper off the wall. That's why you would only use wallpaper paste. Well, generally that is it. You're able to just scrub it off. sponge unless the walls were totally flat then the sponge would just bury paste into any deviations in the wall if you're doing a, a whole room then you would find that you have to change your water Depending on how large the walls are, literally per wall. And again, if you're just papering a wall, then wipe any paste off the ceiling. Because if the paste stays on the ceiling, then 
over time it'll go dirty and black. So to speed my job up here, I'm just going to use the cloth to wipe this off now, dry it off. Make sure there's nothing on that skirting. I mean, it is something that you, you need to do quite thorough, especially when you're repainting. If you're repapering, then it's a matter of making sure that there's no piece of paper left on the wall. Because obviously, when your paper goes on, if it's a very thin pattern paper, then pieces of paper will show through and it just make it look awful. So, I'll leave that to dry now. I'm ready for painting this now. So, you can clearly see black ham from here. There's a difference there. This has been cleaned off. The paste is still on it. It's slightly sheen. There's a bit of a sheen to it. So, let's just get this cut in. What will start to happen, because the paste is on the wall, your water based paint, this is a vinyl mat, will start to work the paste up. Straight away it's gliding on there, but because the paste is on the wall, it's working it up at the same time as you're trying to lay this off. Roller skids as it works up the emulsion. So now leave this to dry. And I'll take a look at it and I'll give it a second coat. Before I second coat this, I'm just going to get my damp cloth and just show you how this will react. Because again, the emulsion paint will have slightly mixed with the paste and remembering that the paste is reworkable. You see how it's starting to show through there? It's gone slimy. As you're applying this, I've already cut in, what you will notice is, because this is reworking the paste, it's dragging, and you start to see streaks, 
and because it's reworking the paste, you end up with really big thick brush lines. And then where there's no paste, it just glides. I can see streaks along the bottom. It's quite thick where the paste is. So I'll just roll the bar now. Start to come onto this side, start to feel the roll, start to slip as it starts to rework the paste. It's just skidding. Now, what you will find is that you'll probably get your paint on, but if you were to come and try putting another colour on top of this, what it will start to do is rework it and it gets streaky. The paint doesn't sit on. So I'll try and get this to sit on. I'm probably contaminating this side now. But well, anyway. Again, I'll let that dry and I'm going to coat this up. This is dry now. So, paste is still in there. So you think, you know, the job's finished type thing. Um, and you go away and leave it. And then you come back for a colour change. And I'll show you what happens there. But at the minute now, Treating this as if the wall's finished and you're carrying on with the woodwork. Oh, I've already um, lightly rubbed down this skirting board. I'm using a P180 because generally you come to a job if it's all smooth and there's no nibs, you won't really need anything rougher than this. So then you rub down the woodwork, the edges. Now, remembering that the paste is on here and formed a layer. So, into that groove there. So there, that's all rubbed down. Now, usually, when you come onto a job, First thing you would do would be um, wipe all the woodwork down, give everything a wipe down, and warm soapy water, get rid of any dust and cobwebs and things, any grease marks. Um, and also, it will tack off any paste that's been left on. If you avoid doing that, and you just come along and rub down, you're not really gonna pick it up Okay, so then you'll just be ready for painting. Again, if it was a wall that had been papered, then usually the woodwork gets done before the paper gets put on. So then you put your nice pattern paper on the wall, and if you don't wipe the paste off, all this woodwork's finished. So in a few years time they'll come along and you might want to leave the paper on and just freshen up your woodwork. And again, if you've not wiped the paste off or you don't do any wiping down, you'll find it. So I'm going to coat this up now and just show you what this will do.
and this is a water based paint it's a satin finish it's a bit awkward to go on with the water based paints once you hit this pace you will notice So, this had no paste on. I'll just quickly buzz this side in. Straight away, you feel the paste underneath, and it is generally it's a lot streakier. And it's not going to bond it to the surface. So, starting to work the paste up there now. See how it's very streaky and it starts to show the wood behind. So, when you're doing this, if you do discover it, it's starting to go streaky. If you do discover it, the best thing you can do really is wipe it off and go around and start wiping the woodwork to get rid of it. So basically, the only way to get around this is either clean your walls from the beginning or if you're just painting and you do come across this, then if you're using an ordinary mat, say a contract mat or something like that, then you'll find the problem more, you know, it will be more compounded with that because it'll just constantly rework. If you use a paint that's scrubbable or wipeable, and when you're applying it and you do notice what's going on, then as, you, as you're emulsioning, if you're literally scrubbing with your roller as you're working it what it will do is bind with the paste and when it dries and you give it enough time to cure then the paint will resist your second coat a lot better so it's just another tip another way around it This is all at a second coat now. The board, skirting in the architrave. Now, with the architrave and skirting, with it being a different paint, different makeup than what's on the walls, this will bind with the, with the paste and become more resistant to working up. But, because there's been a layer of paste on, you won't have keyed the previous surface coating. So when you apply your, your paint, the water-based paint, it works it up, <clears throat> binds with the paint that you're using, and then leaves big streaks, which won't really come out. So again, when you apply your second coat, it might not work it up, but over time, when it's all thoroughly dry, you know, a few years later, and um, this gets rubbed down, it'll start to peel. This will come off. And again, 
if it was oil paint it might sit and bind with the surface with the um, with the paste that's on but because the surface underneath hasn't been keyed eventually it will crack and flake now with the emulsion paint with your wall paint there will be a big difference so what I'm going to do now is coat this up so again I'm going to go for a different colour just to um, show you how it works up so as the paint's going on now slowly starting to drag because it's starting to work the paste up again Straight away I can feel there's no resistance there. Usually what you find is, I mean, it's, it's different working on a small board like this. But over a broad wall, you're doing a lot more working of the emulsion and laying off. And it soon works this up. So we're getting on to the paste now. Okay, so you can see the paste It's not as streaky as this, it's dragging, quite streaky. That's gone straight back to green. Because this side it's not working up the same. So although you think it's covering, it never is because that paste is always the can 
clearly see that when the emulsion paint was applied, it took to the surface. Whereas this side, it will have softened all the way through back to the base coat. So when you're applying your paint, it dries back. Yeah? So when you put your paint on, it dries back. And then if it's a washable paint, scrubbable paint, and you come to start to get a damp cloth on it and start wiping at it, then if it's contaminated with paste, then the chances are the more you rub at it, the more it'll work through. It'll just work up. So always remove paste before you're doing any painting.